A so-called dream ballet from two of the most creative minds in the business and comedian Mike Epps is back on stage. Here to tell us what's streaming this week is Travis Andrews from the Washington Post. Thanks for being with us, Travis. And let's start first with Anima, the new album from Tom York and director Paul Thomas Anderson. I saw the trailer for this, Travis, and it blew my mind. What is going on here? What is this all about? Well, I'll tell you what, this is like the perfect thing for both music nerds and film nerds just kind of coming together. It's a 48 minute electronic album with a lot of strings, uh, you know, typical Tom York stuff. Just one simple reel. And it is a strange film. It is uh, full of bizarre images. Part of it's a throwback to kind of old silent era dance movies and things like that, but it certainly has the dark edge you'd expect from a, you know, Radiohead's front man and the guy who brought us movies like There Will Be Blood. Yeah, I heard it was kind of like a, um, a journey through a dream, kind of like the bottom of a dream or through going through someone's sort of mind. So it seems really kind of strange and bizarre. Absolutely. And it's kind of interesting because this is a new trend that we're seeing a lot with albums where they'll release a film at the same time and not just any film, but one made by uh, a big filmmaker. So it's kind of an interesting trend. Uh, moving on to our next pick, Mike Epps has a new comedy special on Netflix. Travis, I feel like Mike Epps has been underrated for some time. What's your take on this new comedy special? I totally agree. I think he's been underrated for a long time. And I think one thing I always try to think about with Netflix is there's so much comedy. They've done a great job of giving a lot of comedians voices that didn't have voices before. But when someone like Mike Epps comes along and drops a new special there, he uh, actually filmed it here in Washington, D.C. at Constitution Hall. And he talks a lot about his family and his four daughters and, you know, your kind of normal comedy stand up, you know, kind of topics. Right. But he brings a, a special edge of someone who's been doing this for oof, about 30, 40 years. Awesome, okay, and lastly, a throwback. Eastern Promises, a movie that came out more than a decade ago, but I actually had not heard of it. I saw Viggo Mortensen was part of the cast. Tell us about this one and why viewers should check it out. Absolutely, it's a uh, David Cronenberg movie from 2007, and it stars Viggo Mortensen, what I would say is his best role. Um, I'm a little biased because I absolutely adore this movie, <laughs> yeah. but he uh, plays a driver for an Eastern European mafia, and you know, you know, pretty bad guy, he can, uh, you know, inflict some damage when need be. And like these movies often go, he meets a uh, character, Naomi Watts, who's a midwife, who sort of has some secrets on the family, and he suddenly starts rethinking the way he's living his life. Um, it's, it's a pretty violent movie, so you have to kind of have a stomach for that. It actually has a few fight scenes that at the time were considered really, really forward thinking. If you like dark, gritty kind of mafia movies, this is definitely worth your time. And it's on Hulu and it's expiring at the end of the month. For people that may not have known that Viggo Mortensen, I mean, we all remember him from the Lord of the Rings trilogy and of course the Green Book, but I think this is a great opportunity to maybe check him out early in his career. Absolutely, and it's it's always funny. If you see him in this first and then see him in Lord of the Rings, you're like, wait, what? That, <laughs> yeah. that's the same guy? <laughs> all right, well, that's great stuff again, Travis. Thank you very much for being with us. We will see you next time. See you then.